Amen. It used to be that God would, uh, you go ahead and be seated. It used to be that God would show me what the next year was going to be about, you know, just a few weeks before the, the year shifted. But the last couple of years, it's like he does it right after Thanksgiving. And uh, I, I just want to share a couple scriptures with you. It says, if you will extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn in the darkness and your darkness shall be as noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones and you shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Those from among you shall build the old waste places. You shall raise up the foundation of many generations and you shall be called the repairer, repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to dwell in. Isaiah 61, 4, and they shall rebuild the old ruins. They shall raise up former desolations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the desolation of many generations. You know, I, I felt I was in the secret place last night and just kind of minding my own business and worshiping the Lord. And I felt like the Lord said, you're moving into a season of restoration and connection. And, and as I began to ponder what that, what could that actually mean, restoration and connection, and I felt like the Lord says, I'm going to heal breaches. I'm going to restore relationships that have been lost. I am going to move in such a way that that, that which was lost relationally will be restored. And uh, I guess that excited my spirit. You know, we, we see miracles of healing all the time. We see pain leave bodies and different things. But this is just another kind of kingdom activity in, in our midst. This is just another way that the kingdom operates. You know, we were designed by God to not be lone rangers. To not be the John Wayne Christian. You know, uh, sorry, sorry, Harry. We were actually created to live in community. We actually function best in community. We actually need one another. When God designed the body of Christ, He didn't design it so it would just be me and Jesus. It, it, it's like me and Jesus and my brothers and my sisters. And those that are part of this family, God has given us to, to have a relationship and to do life together. I'm telling you, uh, connection, God is going to strengthen connections over this next year. And there's going to be a, the restoration of relationships that have been lost in the past. And sometimes you thought, well, you know, that could never be restored, at least on this side of heaven. And yet God is going to do a new thing. And God's going to move and, and it won't be you psyching yourself up to try to make something happen. It's going to be God because he's going to move on your heart with an expectation and a desire to see him restore relationships. Thank you, Lord. And I, I just feel like God is saying, I want to do a jump start on this. How many know you can, you can grab things that are in the future and pull them into the now simply by faith? You know, God, you know, I, I love the story where Jesus is at the wedding with his disciples. And, you know, Jesus is kind of minding his own business. And all of a sudden they run out of wine. And, and his mom approaches him and said, they've, they, they've run, run out of wine. He says, woman. Be careful about calling your mom that. He said, woman, you know, it, it's not my time. It, it's not time for this to happen yet. And then, then Mary just said, well, do whatever he says. Do you know that Mary's faith pulled into the present something that wasn't supposed to happen yet, 
by her faith. And you can do that. And, and I just feel like God wants to do something. I, I, I just want to ask you this morning. Is, is there a restoration that needs to take place in your life? Is there, is there something that you've cried out to God for? Something that you've maybe even grieved the loss of it? And you want God to breathe new life into your heart and expectation. And you, you want to say, God, I want that relationship restored. I, I just want to invite you to stand up. If you've got anybody in your life that you would like to see restored. See, God is a restorer. He's the healer. He does this kind of stuff. It's as easy to do for him as healing a headache. Wow, look at all the people that are standing. Hallelujah. I'm excited about this because I believe that we're going to hear so many amazing testimonies over the next little while and, and over the course of this next year, God wants to restore relationships that the enemy has come in and, and messed with. And how many know God is just way more powerful than the enemy? Amen. So, Father, we just, I just pray for everyone standing here this morning. Lord, we're, we're not trying to psych ourselves up with something. Lord, we, our eyes are on you. You are our expectation, oh God. And Father, I pray for everyone standing this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you would begin to work. You would begin to orchestrate. You would begin to bring healing in, in ways beyond what we can even understand. But Lord, we, we turn this over to you and we ask you to begin working right now. Father, everybody that's standing here this morning, they have a name or they have a names of people that, that they've, they've lost connection, they've lost relationship with. And so, Father, we just pray that you would move right now in Jesus' name. And we declare restoration in the name of Jesus. Could we just say those three, three or four words? Restoration in the name of Jesus. One more time. Restoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.